Beginning 1st July 2021, airtime costs for mobile phones, internet costs and some bank loans are going to be costlier. This is after President Uhuru Kenyatta assented to the Finance Bill 2021 into law on 29th June. In the Finance Act, members of parliament increased excise duty on airtime and data from 15% to 20%, which will see the Treasury raise at least 8 billion Kenya shillings from Safaricom, Airtel and Telcom Kenya, who are the biggest players in the telecommunications space in Kenya. Safaricom on Tuesday warned that it would increase airtime and internet cost charges if the president backs the MP's proposal to raise excise duty by 5%. The telco emphasized that the burden will be borne by the customer. Other sectors to be affected include the cost of cooking gas. Users of the liquefied petroleum gas will have to part with at least an extra 350 shillings after the 16% value-added tax was introduced in the same act. The move is already causing disquiet from tax civil societies as the general feel is that while the move is welcome, it is untimely. We have over, over the years been concerned with the high taxation in the country when this is looked at and viewed against the backdrop of uh, uh, the corruption and the scandals we continue to see. The value-added tax that is now attached on LPG makes that uh, product expensive to households, so we see uh, that will be struggling at household level. Also businesses, of course, people in the hotel industry use this also. The timing first of this uh, uh, tax measure is uh, not welcome to the taxpayers. But secondly, also its net impact on other commitments around climate change, clean energy and health. Although the excess duty on bank loan fees will see banks pay KRA more than 7 billion shillings annually, it risks making credit costly for homes and businesses as lenders transfer the burden to the borrowers. With inflation numbers of up to 6.32%, Kenyans may find it difficult to bear the cost of living in the coming days and months. The National Treasury is targeting to raise about 2.04 trillion in total revenue compared to 1.83 trillion shillings. And in a bid to meet the ever-rising public wage bill and expenditure agenda, Kenyans may have to contend with more taxes as the government explores other options. That first, mm. try to tax the multinationals have not been paying their fair share of tax. Secondly, try and increase fast efficiency, even before we address corruption. Issues of efficiency. We would want to uh, encourage government that as opposed to looking at products such as LPG that affect households and it's something that you have no option you have to use energy in your houses why not tax products that are optional and it's something you either take or don't take such as tobacco products brian george Otieno, kt news nairobi